Welcome everyone. I'm Cynthia Resendez, Marketing Manager at Avenue 360. Today we're joined by two of our women's health services providers who see patients in our Houston clinic or through a virtual visit. We continue to take enhanced safety measures inside our clinic to protect our patients from COVID. I'd like everyone to go around and briefly introduce yourself before we discuss women's health and family planning during COVID and how we're helping the communities we serve. Well, hello everyone. My name is Dr. Rabioha. I am one of the regional medical directors at Avenue 360 um, and I'm a family practice provider. I've been with the agency for three years. And my name is Sandra Russell. I'm a family nurse practitioner. I have been with Avenue 360 since 2012 and I work in the clinic on 1960 in Spring Cypress. I'm sorry, in Spring Cypress at um, Sugar Pine Drive. Thank you. So let's get started. My first question is for you, Dr. Obioha. What safety measures are, we curr are currently in place to protect our patients from COVID? So currently we are offering visits in, in person on, and also virtually. Um, whenever a patient does come into our clinics in person, we, we ask, of course, that they have to be masked. We're checking their temperatures um, and we are doing COVID screenings as well. And we try to minimize the amount of time in the waiting room to um, minimize the amount of traffic coming through there as well. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Russell, can you provide a brief overview of the current women's health services that we provide at Avenue 360? Sure. We provide um, family planning services. Um, we find out what the reproductive life plan is for people and try to help them realize it. If they want to become pregnant, we can help them become pregnant. If they want to avoid pregnancy or delay pregnancy, we can help with that. We screen for cervical cancer, sexually transmitted diseases, and also try to roll into that preventive care because most women who are young and don't have health problems will just come in for the woman's exam. So that gives us a great opportunity for education and also you know, for screening and high risk types of situations, diabetes, hypertension, things that we can find early and treat and have better outcomes later in life. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Obioha, what women's health services um, can we provide through telehealth? So if a female is having um, any vaginal issues, um, urinary issues as well, um, that may not require an exam, we just ask that you be able to go to the lab. Those we can definitely do via a telehealth visit. If there has been an STD um, exposure and they're aware of what that was, we can also provide treatment, but we still always request that they go to the lab for testing. Thank you. Um, Dr. Memphis Russell, sorry. Um, Avenue 360 is a member of Healthy Women Houston. How do we provide support to our patients and how do they qualify for this? Well, we have several programs within our clinic. We try to never turn anyone away. We try to always find them the resources that they need to be seen. And um, basically you can come in, make an appointment, go through eligibility, find out you know, what you're eligible for. We may even be able to help you to apply for some programs, but we will see you in the clinic. We will find out what's going on and we will um, address those issues holistically. We do have other specialties within our clinic system if we need to do some referrals. And we are very familiar also with the community resources in case we need to make some connections there. Thank you. Um, Dr. Obioha, due to COVID-19, uh, many have delayed their medical care. What can be the consequences of this? So of course, there are many of our women who have other chronic health issues, such as diabetes, high blood pressure, um, mental health issues as well, including depression and anxiety. And so we're seeing that there is an increase um, in substance abuse because of some of these things, as well as delays in managing their chronic health conditions, which can lead them to need more emergent care, um, such as having to go into the ER um, and falling out of care. So definitely we don't wanna forget how chronic care management is just as important as um, women's health issues, such as vaginal issues or breast issues. Those are equally important. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Russell, there have been many people who have been experiencing financial hardship. How is Avenue 360 helping patients? 
We have several things that we're able to do at Avenue 360. We have um, sliding fee scales that we can get people on. They're even actually able to make payment plans if necessary. We have experienced a lot of people who've lost their health coverage and don't know where to go. And so when they come in, you know, we can help them with resources. We also have a pharmacy there that they can get discounted medications from. And again, you know, we are, we're connected with resources for the underserved or the underinsured, and we can help them navigate that system. Thank you. This actually concludes our discussion. I wanna thank both of you for joining us today. If you have any questions about Women's Health Services, please visit our website at avenue360.org or call 713-426-0027. Thank you.